Hey and welcome to this video about making a custom map in Fireworks Mania. It's actually easier than you might think. Let's get started. So I assume you have a mod project set up in Unity. If you haven't, there is another video for that. You can find that in the playlist where you found this video. So I will take it from where you have that project set up and you have built your first little sample mod with a rocket or whatever it is. So let's take it from there. So the first thing you need to do is to create a new mod because your custom map needs its own mod. You don't want to combine fireworks and custom map in the same mod because there are some issues with that. So Let's keep things separate also for your own sake and organization of your project. So let's go to mods here and mod tools, create new. Let's create my fantastic, that's the mod name. And let's say we want to have it in mods, select it, set build tag, oh, we create that one. Great. And here we have our mod. It's up to you how you want to organize things. The bigger the map, you have the more complicated stuff you have in it. The more important it is to organize your file correctly to not get super confused. But we start out simple and we can always move stuff into other folders. That's not difficult to change afterwards. So we just start with this single folder where we just create stuff that we need without any subfolders in the beginning at least. So we go to create fireworks mania definition and there is something new called a map definition. So let's call that something unique again as with the other things. So like mania map fantastic map i cannot remember the name actually <laughs> what i called it. it's my fantastic map we just call it fantastic map i'll be called it maybe just fantastic anyway so this definition just as the definition for fireworks have some kind of settings let's not go into the details with all these because it have a little more than a firework but let's go to the important ones and the most important is the name of course so fantastic we just call it fantastic description. We can put something in here. I don't want to do that right now. We need a thumbnail. This might change in the future, but as of recording, there is a thumbnail. So if you see this video and there is no thumbnail in here, just ignore it. I'll go in here and then just pick something again. I don't know. We just picked this one. I just need to put something in there. Now we get to the more important thing, which is the scene name. And this is the name of the scene in your project that actually contains your custom map. So let's right click create a scene and this is very important that you name that also something unique so we can call it the same or we could call it la mania yeah we just call it the same we can also call it scene just so we know like like so it's not so important what you call it but you need to call it something unique because if two people two mods have the same name it can't be an issue in some cases so make sure you call your scene something unique we just copy that one go into the definition again and put it in so that's it so now the definition is set up it's pointing to the right scene now we need to put some content in the scene one of the things you want to do is you want to delete the main camera and the directional light because remember this scene is loaded into the game so it's it have all the game around it, like the sun and moon and camera of the player and all that. So you don't need these. And actually, if you include them, you in some cases you get a warning about it. It will be weird when it loads up in the game because the direction light will overrule the light in the game and all that. So remove direction light and the camera. Basically, all you need is the and let's go to the prefabs here. We are in the packages, fireworks mania tools, mod samples, ah, not mod samples, sorry, fireworks mania, prefabs, player spawn location prefab. And guess what that is? <laughs> That's obviously where the player will spawn. So I just drag it in here and pull it up a little so it doesn't fall through. Right now, if we build, we could build this map and we could go in, but the player would just keep falling and falling and falling and falling because there's nothing to stand on. So let's make it super simple and add a, which is just a flat surface and let's place it zero, zero, zero. And the player is here. We can just here so the player is is right there on top of it and there is a play that's perfect just so we have something to look at let's add a cube and let's add that also at zero 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 let's move it up a bit and let's move it over here 
and let's rotate it just to make it fancy and as you can see this cube have a collider but to make it a little more fun we give it a rigid body because that may that's what makes it able to be picked up or be affected by physics in the game so let's say that weigh 10 kilograms and yeah that's fine now we can actually build this mod i think we forgot to set the build settings export settings sorry so we need to do the same as before we go to find the location here as we have done in other videos put it in here we built for size and don't show output perfect so now we're actually ready to build the only thing they need is as you see you can see here definition pointing to a scene the scene needs to be there and in the scene there needs to be a play location if you don't have the play location the player will spawn at 0.0.0, .0. so you can leave it out but if you want them to spawn some other place then just in the middle 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 you can put this in and place it wherever you want the player to spawn so if we go to mod tools and build them build successful and let's start up the game so we have the game running here and when hitting start it will load in mods and here we have our fantastic mod click it let's see we should see maybe not the most fancy but we have our cube we can even pick it up we can throw it and we can also put a firecracker on next to it and then it will most likely fly over the edge yep bye bye as you can see tiny 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 map uh, very dark because it's night we can see that the light also works here and we actually have a sky and there's also some birds you can hear without actually see them but this is your first map not super interesting but it's there so what we can do now is we can if we want to wait a little on this let's take down the ambient volume because we don't want to listen to these birds while having it running in the background here because we can now we can go back here and then just start playing around for instance make the plane bigger so now we have a little more space we can have multiple cubes we can scale some cubes we can actually have many cubes Oops. that and then we can go in here and we can build again and we can go into the game and inside the game you will see detected there was a change in this my fantastic map so we can just go in here and restart and it should load up our new map with our changes so here we go we have the few cubes here so you can see it's actually easier to create maps than create fireworks really this is maybe not the most interesting map but anyway it's your map you created it so what you could do now is that you could find some free assets and use that to build a map make sure that you have the rights to use them or you could go and buy some synthesis studios if you want to sometimes they have some free packages too you can use and uh, these are the ones i use in the game they are kind of expensive but sometimes they have some good deals so they're actually very cheap and they also have some free ones that i can't find right now but there are some free ones also some small packages with some models and stuff like that so that was a little intro to making a basic custom map in fireworks mania happy modding see you